root digit method. Now, what is meant by this root digit method or what is meant by root digit in the first place, right? What do you mean by root digit, root digit or uh, some, some people also call it as a lucky number, lucky digit, lucky number, right? See, so generally, uh, we find, you know, people when they go for the vehicle registration or uh, some house registration or some kind of registration which involves a number, they try to get a number which adds up to a single digit, which is the lucky digit. Are able to call it. For example, there is a four digit number, vehicle number, generally a four digit number, right? So they try to get that number where the sum of the digits is either nine or six or seven, based on what is their luckily. So that's what basically is known as a root digit. Root digit is a concept where you add all the digits of a number, you keep adding the digits till you get a single digit number. For example, 75. What is the root digit of 75? See, don't confuse this with square root. For example, uh, 64. What is the root digit of 64? Don't say it's 8. No, I am not asking you the square root. Square root is 8, but root digit is not 8. What do you mean by root digit? Add the digits till you get a single digit number. So, 7 plus 5, add to the digit. 7 plus 5, 12. Again, 12 is a two digit number. I want a single digit. 12. 1 plus 2, 3. So, the root digit of 75 is 3. What is the idea? 7 plus 5 gives you 12. 12 again, 1 plus 2 gives you 3. So this is what you need to do till you get a single digit number. I mean, don't have to write on paper. I'm just trying to explain. Likewise, 64. What's the root digit? 6 plus 4, 10. 1 plus 0. 10 is what? 1 plus 0. Root digit is 1. If I give you a number 5, 7, 4, 3, 2, 1, 9. What's the root digit? 5 plus 7. 5 plus 7. 12. 12 plus 4. 16. 16 plus 3. 19 plus 2. 21 plus 1. 22 plus 8. 31. 31. 3 plus 1. 4. Root digit here is 4. There is another way of calculating root digit. I mean, not another way I should say, but a smarter way of getting a root digit. Remember, as per Vedic mathematics, as per the ancient Indian mathematics, 9 is considered to be the most powerful digit. It's the most powerful number, right? There are reasons behind that. Let me not get into details of that. But understand, while calculating the root digit, if you find any single digit as 9, you can avoid that. Or any two digits adding up to 9, you can just avoid that. That is not going to affect your root digit. For example, here, I can leave 9. Even then the root digit remains 4. Look at this. 5 plus 7, 12. 12 plus 4, 16. 16 plus 3, 19. Plus 2, 21. Plus 1, 22. 22. 2 plus 2, 4. So you can avoid all these 9s while finding out root digit. You, I mean, you don't have to include that 9 in calculation of your root digit. Right? Likewise, not just 9. If 2 digits make up 9, you can leave them. For example, in this case, 7 and 4. Uh, sorry, 7 and 2 is 9. 7 plus 2 is 9. Forget them. Forget about them. Take the remaining one. 5 plus 4, 9. 9 plus 3. 12, 12 plus 1, 13. 1 plus 3, 4. It's going to be same. Or 5 and 4 also make up 9. Take them. 3 plus 1, 4. That's the root digit. Right? For example, now if I ask you, what is the root digit of uh, 169324? Don't add all of them. 6 and 3 is gone, 9 is gone. 2 plus 4, 6. 6 plus 1, 7. The root digit here is 7. So this is what is basically meant by root digit. Now how can we use this? How can we use this root digit method? Or what is the root digit method which can be used for doing questions and simplifications. So let's look at it. I just take one or two examples, but before that, let me explain you. What is the concept here? For example, 126 plus, let's take some number, uh, 321 equals to what? Add this, 126 plus 321, 120, 320, 440, 6 and 1, 7, 447. Yes or no? 6 plus 1, 7, 2 plus 2, 4, 1 plus 3, 4. Addition there. So that's the equation balance. Now, as per Vedic mathematics or as per the digital root concept, root digit concept, let's let's find out the root digits of these numbers first. What is the root digit of 1, 2, 6? 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 6, 9. This is 9. What is the root digit of 321? 3, 3 plus 2, 5. 5 plus 1, 6. Now, add. Because here it is addition, we are adding. 9 plus 6, 15. 15, what is the root digit? 6. Or as, as I mentioned, don't have to worry about 9 there. Wherever you find 9, just leave. Root digit of the left hand side is equal to what? 6. Now, as per this concept, root digit also will get balanced on both the sides. Not just the sum, not just the equation, but the root digits are always balanced in any kind of uh, arithmetic equation. There. Let's check. 447. Find out the root digit. 4 plus 4, 8, 8 plus 7, 15, 15, 1 plus 5, 6. Is it balanced? Yes, it's balanced. This is the concept. Now, I don't have to tell you how can we use this 
126 plus question mark equals to 447. Instead of doing the calculation, check whether the root digit is balanced or not. Which option balances the root digit? You get the answer. Right? Same thing is applicable for multiplication as well. Multiplication, addition, subtraction, division. But again, division you have to be careful. Remember, units place method is not applicable for division. But in a smart way, we have used it in the previous question that 18,000 something and 20,000 something, right? Verification from units place. So same thing can be uh, done for digital root or root digit method as well, right? I like to explain you about multiplication. For example, let's say uh, 32 into uh, 32 into what? 32 into 19, let's say. Equals to what? What is 32 into 19? 640 minus 32. That is equal to 608. Multiplication. So root digit has to balance. Yes or no? Root digit has to balance here. So 32 into 19 equals to 608. Let's check. What is the root digit of 32? 5. What is the root digit of 19? 1. 5 into, again, remember, same operation has to be taken. 5 into 1, 5 into 1 is 5. So root digit of the left hand side is 5. Root digit of the right hand side should also be 5. Check. 6 plus 0, 6. 6 plus 8, 14. 14 was the root digit, 1 plus 4, 5. Is it balanced or not? Yes. So that's the concept of root digit. And this is what we can use while answering certain questions. Well, I would say, if you ask me which is better, unit digit method is better or root digit method, my simple and clear answer here is unit digit method. Because root digit, though it appears to be interesting, it appears to be, you know, uh, very nice, but then it takes more time compared to unit digit. In unit digit, we just check the last digit, but root digit, you have to add and, you know, you keep adding those numbers till you get the single digit, which will take more time. So that is the reason, if at all you have to decide which one to apply, first apply unit digit method. If that fails, try root digit. And again, let me tell you, even this may fail. Fail as in, you may not be able to get the right answer because two, three options may be possible, right? Unit digit method, two, three options are possible. Here also, when you verify from the options, first option on root digit may be five, second may be five, third may be five, fourth may be five. You may not be able to apply. You may not be able to mark the answer. So it all depends on what kind of questions are given. Let's just take one or two examples on this. 1097.63 plus 2197.36 minus 2607.24 divided by 3.5 equals to what? Options are 196.5, 186.5, 196.75, 200.5, 136.5. Let's look at the solution for this one. Now you know how to answer this. In fact, uh, these were some of the uh, questions that we have discussed in the beginning. But then this involves a division here, right? So what do you do? You can go for the complete solution, which would take about one minute or maybe a little more than that. But let's let's check. A, how root digit method can help us get the answer because all the options are there without fifth option being none of this. So let's just think of it. What do we do here? Find out the root digit of each number. Forget about the decimals. Remember decimals you don't have to worry about when it comes to root digit. So find out the root digit. 6 and 3 anyway gets cancelled, 9 gets cancelled. 1 plus 0 plus 7, 8. So this is 8, this number. 9 here is getting cancelled, 2, uh, 2 and 7 gets cancelled, 3, 6 gets cancelled. What is left out? 1. So root digit of first term is 8, second term is 1. Third one here, uh, 7 and 2 gets cancelled, 2 plus 6 is what, 8, 8 plus 4, 12, 12 means, 12 again is what, 1 plus 2, 3, so for this it is 3, divided by 3.5 equals to what, right, now try to look at this part now, 8 plus 1 minus 3, what is 8 plus 1, 8 plus 1, 9, 9 minus 3, 6, yes or no, 8 plus 1 minus 3, 9 minus 3 is 6, so 6 is the root digit divided by 3.5. That root digit is nothing but again 8. Six by, don't try to simplify. Don't say 6 by 8 is 3 by 4. Don't, don't simplify root digit in that manner, right? 6 by root digit of 8 should be equal to what? Question marks. What we'll try to do here is, you know that if, if you take this 8 on the other side, question mark into it. So one root digit, I mean left hand side is ending in a root digit of 6 should be equal to question mark into root digit 8. Substitute the options. That root digit of options when multiplied by 8, the root digit. If that happens, maybe that is the right answer again. We cannot say that that itself is the correct answer because there are many numbers which can give you root digit as 6 when multiplied by 8. Right? But then elimination of answers will be possible. Let's look at this one. 196.5. What is the root digit? 1 and 6, 7. 7 and 5, 12. 12 is what? 3. Yes or no? 6 and 5, 11 plus 1, 12. 12 is 3. 3. Now, if this is the correct answer at all, if that at all, if that is the correct answer, what happens? Question mark will be substituted by the root digit of 3. 3 into 8 is how much? 24. 24 root digit is what? 2 plus 4, 6. Balanced or not? 6 and 6. This is giving 6. So, maybe 196.5 is correct. But is it really correct or not? Depends on the remaining options. If this option also gives me a root digit of 6 when multiplied by 8, gone. Right? If at all these are ruled out, it will be easy for us. So that's what I told you. Root digit appears to be easy, but actually it's complicated to apply because more than one option may satisfy. 
right? So first prefer unit space method, then go for root digit method. Let's look at this one. Find out the root digit. So now it's obvious that root digit has to be three. Only when root digit is three, eight into three, twenty-four. Two plus four, six will be the balance, right? One eighty-six point five. What's the root digit? One and eight nine. Six and five is eleven. Eleven will give you two. If you take two, what happens? Eight into two. Are you able to follow? Instead of root digit three, you'll have two here. So 8 into 2, 16. 16 is what? 1 plus 6, 7. Not balanced. So this is ruled out. 196.75. 9 is gone. 6 and 1, 7. 7 and 7, 14. 14 and 5, 19. 1 plus 9, 1 plus 9, 20. 20 means what? Root digit is 2. If this 2 does not satisfy, this 2 will also not satisfy. Look at next one. 200.5. 2 plus 5, 7. 8 into 7, 56. Yes or no? 200.5. So 200.5, 7. 7 into 8, 56. 7 into 8, 56. Root digit is 7. 8 into 7, 56. 56. 5 plus 6. Understand? Here we are getting 56. 5 plus 6, 11. 11. Again, 1 plus 1, 2. What we want is 6. This is also ruled out. In the last option, 136.5. 3 and 6 anyway is gone because it's making 9. 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 into 8, 48. 6 into 8, 48 means what? 4 plus 8, 12. 1 plus 2, 3. What we want is 6. Even this is ruled out. Correct answer has to be. First option 196.5 because that's the only option which satisfies the root digit concept here. That's the correct answer. But then see, it takes time. Again, we are fortunate, we are lucky that only one option satisfies. If more than one option satisfies, then again you will have to go for an approximate calculation to check which of the two is correct or which of the three is correct. If all the options satisfies, gone. You don't have any lead uh, about the right answer. You have to do the complete question. You have to do the complete solution. So it all depends on what kind of questions are you. But then useful technique. Useful technique. If you can use it smartly, definitely it will help you in the exam, right? You can't be applying this to every question because it is lengthy. If you ask me, this is really lengthy. But better than the actual calculation. Just one question. The last question of today's session, and we'll close. Let me just pick up one more question so that I can explain you this root digit concept uh, again. For example, 43 squared plus 841 equals to question mark squared plus 1465. The options are 15, 65, 45, 35, 15, 65, 45, 35, 25. We are required to find out what comes in place of Question mark, right? Look at this. This is question mark square. So 43 square plus 841 equals to question mark square plus 1465. What do you do? 43 square. That means what? 43 into 43. Yes or no? This part is 43 into 43. We are applying root digit directly. I'm just telling you the root digit method here. Application of root digit method. So 43 into 43. What's the root digit of 43? 7. 7 into 7. 49. 49 root digit will be 4 because 9 gets eliminated. So here the root digit of first part is 4. Plus root digit of 841. 8 and 1 gets cancelled. 4 and 4 is left out. So 4 plus 4. What's the overall root digit of left hand side? It is 8. Remember, generally what I write inside the circle is root digit. That's just to understand that this is root digit. Otherwise, we get confused whether it is root digit or some other number, right? So that's only an identification part. So 4 plus 4, 8. Root digit of the left hand side is 8. Now comes the remaining part. Let's find out the root digit of this part. 1, 4, 6, 5 and 4 is gone. This is 7. Yes or no? One plus six is seven. So root digit here is seven. Already the root digit here is eight. Complete left hand side eight should be equal to question mark square plus root digit of seven. Now because this is plus, I know that here the root digit should be one. For question mark square, the root digit has to be one. Only then it is balanced, right? Eight one plus seven will give you eight. One plus seven will give you. So question mark square should be one. Check from the options. Question mark square. Remember, what is the root digit of fifteen? Six. Six square. This is question mark square. Six square. Six into six. Thirty-six. Three plus six. Nine. No, does not balance because I want one ruled out. What's the root digit of sixty-five? Six plus five. Eleven. One plus one. Two. Two. Two square. Four. Root digit does not. I mean, not balanced. What's the root digit of forty-five? Nine. Yes or no? Nine. Nine square. Eighty-one. Nine with any kind of multiplication will always give you root digit of nine. Nine square eighty-one. Eight plus one. Nine. Ruled out because I am looking for one. 35. What is the root digit? 8. 8. 8 squared. 8 squared. 64. 6 plus 4. 10. 1 plus 0. 1. Maybe possible because this is giving me a root digit of 1 when I use square. As such, 35 is giving me 8. Root digit of 8. But when I square it, I get 1. So 
So possible, maybe possible. If this does not satisfy, I have the right answer. 25, 2 plus 5, 7. 7 squared, 49. 49 root digit is what? 4. Not balance. So the correct answer is 35. But then understand, I would say it would be better if you solve this question using the regular procedure than by going unit space, I mean, than by using uh, root digit method. Because lucky again that it is satisfied. Otherwise, you may not be able to mark the answer. Doesn't take time. 43 square will be how much? 50 minus 7. Sorry, 43 square, 50 minus 7, whole square. So 1849. You know how to find out square of a number much faster without writing anything on paper. 1849 plus 841. So 1849 plus 841 will be 2690. 2690 equals to question mark square plus 1465. 1465, if you subtract from 2690, it will give you how much? 1225. 1225 is what square? 35 square. So if you are smart in calculations, if you have followed the speed maths concepts clearly, you will be able to answer the same question much faster, right? But just the application of root digit method is what I have explained here through this example. So that's how you can apply some of these techniques in answering the questions from simplifications. I would like to close the session now. I hope all of you have enjoyed this.